Hello and welcome. In my previous videos, I have talked about uh, struct or structure and union. And if you have watched my previous videos, uh, you will see that struct and union, uh, they almost look alike. So in this video, I like to explore the difference between struct and union. So difference between struct and union. Now the main difference between struct and union is how memory is allocated to each member of struct or union. With struct, the compiler would allocate memory for each data member within the struct. But for unions or union, the compiler will allocate a block of memory equal to the largest data member in the union. So let's take a look at struct. So here I'm repeating from my previous video an example. So it, uh, I have a struct with a uh, structure data type here called access data which consists of uh, two members or elements. So the first member is pin of the type int and the second member is uh, called zone of the type unsigned char. Now pin and zone, each, each of these members will have its own memory location. Now in the above case, uh, pin uh, because it's of the type int, so it's 16 bits, so it needs, requires, sorry, two bytes of uh, memory st storage. And zone, uh, which is an unsigned char, will need eight bits, uh, so it's a byte. So if you add them together, uh, pin two bytes, zone one byte, so it's two plus one, and therefore, this particular uh, in, in this particular example, it will require uh, two plus one, three bytes uh, to store the uh, structure access data. Now, for union, the total uh, memory space allocated is equal to the member with with the largest size. So, if you look at this again. Uh, so we have pin, uh, which is uh, 16 bits. Uh, we have two bytes. And zone, which is 8 bits, because of its unsigned char, that's one byte. So the total memory uh, allocated to this uh, union type uh, would be two bytes. So all members. Uh, that is, in this example, pin and zone will share the same memory space. Okay, so we are back in the uh, Kyle ID, IDE. So I'm going to take a look at the uh, struct uh, data type again. Uh, I've used this same code in my previous video on when I was uh, talking about the struct or structure. So, um, let me zoom in. Let me just enlarge this. Uh, I'm, I've, let me just compile it. I'll build it. Yeah, so I have zero errors, zero warnings. Um, let's go straight to debug. And before I start single stepping, let me just point out a couple of things here. Uh, that is uh, to look at how uh, memory location is being allocated to the uh, members uh, of the uh, structure. All right, so um, let's have a look at the let's look at this uh, disassembly part of the Kyle. So for pin for code dot pin or pin um, member, so pin is being uh, allocated to locations that is location zero eight and zero nine. Why two locations? Um, just a reminder, pin is of the type int. And uh, int, the type int is 16 bits, uh, which means two bytes. So we need two bytes of memory location. 
So the compiler has allocated uh, location 0, 8 hexa and location 0, 9 hexa. For zone, now zone is unsigned char, which means 8 bits, 1 byte. So it's been allocated uh, 0, x, 0, a, which is 0, a, hex. So uh, uh, not forgetting that uh, 0, a comes after 0, 9. So these are the uh, location allocated to pin and zone respectively. Okay, so uh, just keep in mind 0, 8, 0, 9 and 0, a. So let me just get out of this uh, mode. All right, so we go back into single step mode. Now, for this demonstration, I am just going to focus on uh, just a minute. Let me zoom zoom in here, and I'm going to just f uh, focusing on uh, zero eight location zero eight and location zero nine and location zero a because these are the locations allocated to uh, the members pin and zone respectively. So let me just zoom out and out of the editing mode. Right, so our single step and let's keep an eye on these data memory locations here that I mentioned. So the first thing is to initialize the timer um, which we're not going to use in this one because we are just interested in how uh, mem location is allocated to the members and how they are being accessed. So now we're going to access the uh, members. First of all, uh, pin. Uh, so we're going to make use of the uh, code, sorry, the dot operator. So it's dot code dot pin assigned with decimal value 9355. Uh, so watch this uh, memory window here, uh, location 08 and 09. And we have 248B. Now 248B is the hex equivalent of 9355, uh, which is decimal. And you can see as I hover over the, uh, the 9355, you can see the hex equivalent which is this identical to the one here, 248B. It should be because they are exactly the same. Now, zone. Zone uh, is been uh, allocated here. Code dot, dot zone is been assigned uppercase A. So watch the uh, location 0A because that's where, that's what the uh, compiler has allocated zone. And we have 41. 41 is the hex value for uppercase A. All right, so that's how uh, the uh, compiler has allocate, allocated the memory to pin and zone. And that's how it's, uh, they have been accessed. So each member has its own memory locations. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, union data type. So as with the previous uh, example on struct uh, data type, so I'm going to do the same. We're going to focus on, uh, in this demonstration, on how the compiler allocates uh, memory locations to the uh, members of the union. So in this case, the members of the union is pin of the type int, so it requires uh, two bytes of location. And zone is an unsigned char, so uh, it's only eight bits, so it's one byte of uh, memory location that it requires. So, and then we'll see how the uh, members are being Ax, uh, the union members are being accessed and how a memory is being utilized. All right, so let's. Uh, I've already uh, compiled the code, so let's go straight to debug. <coughs> okay, so let's focus on the disassembly for a while. Let's take a sorry, let's take a look at this. 
Right. So the compiler has allocated 0, 8, 0, 9, location 0, 8, and 0, 9 hexa to the to pin, uh, which is exactly the same as in the previous example with struct. Now for zone, uh, which is unsigned char, 8 bits, 1 byte, uh, is allocated, watch this, 0, 8 hexa. So if you were to uh, look at the first byte of the memory location of pin is 0, 8, and zone is also allocated 0, 8 hexa. Why is that? That's because all, mem all other members in the union share the same memory size. Hence, uh, we're not surprised that it's 0, 8. Uh, the lower byte of uh, pin is 0, 8, and the location for A, capital, uh, uppercase A, uh, zone, sorry, rather, zone is also allocated 0, 8. All right, so enough of that, of that. Let's come out of this, and so let's go to the debug, and um, let's step through. So we initialize the timer and uh, notice we will take note of the memory location here. So let's zoom in quickly. So it's these three locations that we want to take note. Uh, sorry, these two locations we want to take note 0, 08 and 0, 09. All right, so. Let's zoom out again. All right, so we're here. So now 9355, which is uh, 248B, 248B uh, in hexa, will be uh, assigned to code dot pint. So watch out for the memory uh, address here. Yes, we have. Let's do a quick zoom in. So uh, at 0, 08 and 0, 09, we have 248B. Now let's move on to the next slide. Now watch uh, 0, 08 and 0, 09 here. Focusing on uh, zero eight location zero eight. Right now he has two four, which is the uh, upper byte of the uh, pin. So it's two four. Watch what happens when I step uh, through the next line, which is uh, code dot zone assign uppercase a. Uppercase a if okay. So watch. 0, 8, location 0, 8. Now the location 0, 8 contains 4, 1. 4, 1, as you remember from the previous uh, demonstration with struct, 4, 1 is actually the hex code for uppercase A. So, now this result shouldn't uh, surprise us. Let me just zoom in to the memory. Remember uh, the memory space allocated is equal to the member with the largest memory size, which is uh, two bytes. Uh, uh, that, because pin is uh, two bytes, needs two bytes of location. So, and also remember, all members share the same memory space. All right, so that's why uh, 41 is being stored in 08. Now, which means there's something uh, we have to take note when you when using union that the uh, uh, a member could override or corrupt the uh, contents of the uh, of another member in the same union. All right, so we just have to bear that. Okay, in mind. so let's do a quick review or a recap of uh, what just happened. So struck with the struck. Uh, type uh, the members each member uh, within the struct is 
allocated its own memory. So pinned uh, of the type uh, int, uh, that's 16 bit, two bytes of location is needed. So the um, compiler will allocate two bytes to pin and zone, which is an uh, unsigned char, eight bits, one byte. So the compiler will allocate uh, one byte to zone. So each member has its own memory uh, allocation. Where, where else in union type, the member pin uh, is the largest member in the union, meaning uh, is this, remembering this requires two bytes of mem location and this uh, zone here requires only one byte. So the uh, compiler allocate a block of memory equal to the largest member in the union. In this case is pin, so two bytes is allocated. So in our example that we just seen, uh, the uh, for struct type, the compiler has allocated uh, uh, 0, 0.8 hexar and 0, 0.9 hexar to pin for pin and zone is allocated uh, the memory location 0a. So uh, stroke type would have uh, memory location 08, 09, 0a for its members. And in the union, um, pin is the largest member in the union. Uh, it's two bytes, so the uh, compiler allocates uh, zero location 08 hexa and location 09 hexa to the whole union type. Uh, and so pin and zone will share the same uh, memory locations. All right, so let's go to struct. Uh, in, in the struct demonstration, to access the uh, member pin, I use code.pin assign 9355 decimal uh, in hex that is equals to 248B. So um, 24 is allocated to, it will be uh, assigned, sorry, to 08, location 08, and 8B will be assigned to location 09. Now, when it comes to uh, accessing zone with code.zone with the uppercase A, uh, 41, that's the hex equivalent of uh, for the uppercase A, that would be allocated to location 0A. Now, let's take a look at union. Now, when I execute uh, code.pin, assign 9355 to access the uh, member pin. Remember, uh, two, not, 9355 is the hex equivalent is 248B as previously. So, 24 will be assigned to location 08 and 8B uh, uh, assigned to location 09. But watch what happened when we come to code.zone assigned with uppercase A, that is uh, 41 hexa. 41 now replaced 24 because 41 was, is also allocated the location 08 hexa. Remember, each member uh, the members of the union share the same location. So basically 41 has overwritten uh, 24. So as we observe the value of pin is overwritten by the most recently stored value zone. And this is simply because all members share the same memory space. Okay, so that's it for this particular video. Uh, I hope you'll find, you find the information useful. And as, and as usual, I have included the uh, code that I've used in the demonstration given in the link in the description. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.